Good morning, this morning's vlog is from a place called Deepdale Beck, it's in Cumbria, um, Patterdale. Um, what we've done is we've parked the car about, about 45 minutes down the road there and we've walked um, a really, really scenic route and um, at the moment the first shot I've got, I'm going for a really simple composition, it's in portrait mode. Um, I'm using the, the actual Beck itself as a leading line and then what you'll have in the distance is this um, not too sure which what fell it's called but there's snow on top of it and um, looks absolutely amazing there's a bit of blue sky coming through and you can just see the sun hitting the top of it so what I'll do is I'll um, the settings I'm going for are I'm at f11 ISO 64 and I'm just one third of a second and um, I'm getting the reflections in the actual Beck itself so I'll take a shot got a two second timer um, using a 0.3 grad um, and it's looking it's looking quite nice so I'll post the image up now and uh So I'll just show you this shot I'm going for. F11. You can see there, I'm using this this Beck and I'm um, getting the reflections in. Um, ISO 64, half a second, two second timer. Very simple, but looks absolutely beautiful. And there we go. I'll take one more. I'm gonna go for a fourth of a second because it looks like a tiny bit blurry that. That's a little bit better. I shall post the image in a second. So for this shot, I've moved downstream a little bit. I'm actually in the water itself. If you zoom in, you can see all the water up from the beck. I'm gone for F20. I'm at eight seconds at ISO 60, 64. Two second timer. I'm just experimenting with um, different times. And there's no right way or wrong way to do anything. It's just to see what your results and different results you want really. So this is the 8 second one and the water looks really nice there but maybe a little bit too much so I might go for a 5 second exposure or even a 3 second exposure.
So for this shot, I've come right in the water on f8, 1.6 seconds. I've got um, a three-stop ND filter on and a 0.3 grad. Two second timer. I'm using the waterfall here as a leading line. So for my last shot at this location, I'm going to go for half a second exposure. Um, F16, iPhone 64, two second timer, and I shall post the image in a moment. the last shot of the day. It's worked further down the stream um, in this bed. And what I'm doing is I'm using this circle as um, a foreground interest. Working its way back up to the top. Um, so I'm, gonna, I'm doing F11 with ISO 64. And you're going to go for a five second exposure. That two second timer. White balance is set to cloudy. That's the image taking now. If it's any good, I shall post it up on the um, on the screen now. So I'm going to take one more shot. go down to F8 and that's going to be 3 seconds ISO 64 2 second timer and there we go beautiful Enjoyed this uh, this little vlog up in um, I what's called now, I'm star again. So I hope you enjoyed this little vlog at um, Deep Dale Beck. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, leave your comments below. Um, this place is absolutely beautiful and I think um, it's about 35 minute walk, um, about an hour drive from Blackpool. It's a place where I'll definitely be coming again because there's so much potential. Everywhere you look there's a view. Um, so yeah, so less of the waffling, but don't forget to like and subscribe, and um, I'll see you next time.